2018 promises to be pretty amazing with tons of cool stuff just around the corner. Hi, Lucas here. Welcome to K News for week 1, 2018. Happy New Year and as always a big shout out to you my K News boosters on Patreon. Thanks for your trust. But first things first, there is a launch this week on Saturday which is a SpaceX Falcon 9 and I already covered that one in episode 486, 2017. If you can call that cover at all because there is or was not much to talk about since it's a super secret military payload called Zuma. The launch was delayed from early December due to some issues with its payload fairing and it will finally take off from Cape Canaveral this weekend. Unless of course they run into further delays which would also delay number one on my list of things I look most forward to this year. And that is of course SpaceX and the biggest Falcon Heavy rocket. The launch is scheduled for January 2018 and basically features three Falcon 9 boosters strapped together pushing the upper stage to ludicrous speeds. Hold on to your helmets guys, this will be quick and loud. On top will be of course a cherry red Tesla Roadster and if you wonder why on earth would somebody do that, make sure to subscribe because I will talk about that one in one of the next episodes. Seeing the first images of Falcon Heavy on the pad recently was just unreal. I really hope everything will go well and that we will very soon see this beast fly on a regular basis. I mean, why not? It certainly won't lie around and do nothing while SpaceX has two pads available in Florida. And just by the way, our mothership the Earth will also have a close encounter with Mars in the following months, so I would not be surprised if we'd see more things flying to the red planet. The next one on my list is at the exact opposite of the spectrum when it comes to rocket size. The launch date has not yet been announced but what I'm also excited about in 2018 is Virgin Orbit's Launcher 1. It's about time that rockets start to launch off planes more often and while there is Orbital ATK's Pegasus, it really isn't that present in my videos. While Launcher 1 will start off as an expendable rocket to prove the concept, later iterations may be called Launcher 2 or 3 will hopefully get their wings and heat shields. Virgin Orbit's plane Cosmic Girl is said to be able to carry two Launcher 1s at once which should be enough capability to launch a slightly bigger reusable rocket. However, that's still in the realm of speculation at this point and depends on the outcome of the first flights. Everyone's eyes are probably on SpaceX and the more success they have, especially on the business side, the more companies will develop their own reusable system. Number 3 comes in 3 separate yet similar events. SpaceX, Lockheed Martin and Boeing are all developing new spacecraft which will be further tested and flown this year. It's the Dragon 2 for SpaceX, Orion for Lockheed Martin and the CST-100 Starliner for Boeing. All three will launch this year while at least Dragon and Orion will have spectacular in-flight abort tests. For that they will be shot on top a rocket up to maximum aerodynamic pressure where they will go through the most dangerous escape scenario. This was of course extensively simulated on computers long before the spaceships were even built but it's still always extremely nerve wracking to see those capsules in reality blasting off their carrier rocket mid flight. In case of SpaceX Falcon 9, I hope we will see the booster land although I'm not quite sure if it can take such forces without a nose cone. Its normal separation is performed way above the atmosphere where there is very little pressure left to harm the booster. Orion on the other hand will be launched on top a peacekeeper missile so the chances to recover that one are low although who knows, maybe they'll mount a parachute on it for fun. Now, speaking of Dragon 2, we will likely not only see the abort test but also its first crewed flight to the SS this year. I assume it will first do another uncrewed mission like Dragon 1 before that but even then it will be cool to watch Dragon to dock autonomously to it for the first time. And of course, while very unlikely to happen in 2018, there is also the crewed Dragon 2 mission around the moon which is currently scheduled for the end of the year. Should that happen it would be the first time humans went back to the moon after the Apollo program. Yes, we haven't been nowhere near the moon for almost 50 years. Many renditions of the moon make it appear extremely close to earth but the distance is in fact insane. 380,000 kilometers, this is a thousand times more distant than astronauts orbiting earth on the SS. Slingshotting around the moon makes it look much larger than earth which must be a really strange feeling. It will probably take weeks before those people can comprehend what they have experienced. 
I could imagine watching outside the windows will feel more like a movie, completely surreal. However, that all depends on the outcome of the upcoming Falcon Heavy mission and while I personally don't think human will go around the moon this year, Dragon 2 will very likely. Should its first ride to space be on a Falcon Heavy, SpaceX said they will launch it around the moon on a similar trajectory the tourists are planned to be launched. The cool thing about that is I'm sure we would get the best live moon flyby footage there has ever been. Imagine there would be a live stream of dragon flying by the moon and you could maybe switch between different cameras. But of course there will be dozens if not hundreds of other launches in 2018 and everyone has its purpose. I'm also sure there are some incredibly important ones I didn't think about or just don't know so please make sure to let me know in the comments on what you look most forward to this year. Ok, that shall conclude this week's episode and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.